guys, it's Jennifer and I have a five and four eight. I have a five and five for you guys. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first product that I wanna talk about was sent to me free from Influence Dirt for my honest review. And this is the Redken Dry Shampoo. Um, this is a big, 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 big bottle of dry shampoo and I have somehow managed to go through it. Um, I have quite a bit of it in my hair now. So this is what I will say. It does soak up the oils. It does exactly what you want in dry shampoo to do, but at a price. It makes your hair look, in my opinion, pretty dull, um, pretty uh, dry shampooed. And the white flakies, it, it's definitely got the white cast and it gets my brush, it gets my pillow. So not my favorite dry shampoo. It does soak up the oils and it has great reviews. So don't take my word for it. If you wanna try it, give it a try. Um, but to me, I don't feel like this is any better than any drugstore brand. Batiste, not your, uh, not your, is it not your mother's, not your daughter's? Oh my gosh. You know which one I'm talking about. Um, the, and those are fine. It works fine. It does what it's supposed to, but it's not, it's not like, whoa, this dry shampoo doesn't have the white cast. It doesn't have the flakes. It makes my hair look full of life rather than dull. It doesn't do any of that, but it does soak up the oils. All right. Next we have the Snell Rescue Blemish uh, busting toner by peach slices. So I do have a little bit left and I will finish this. Um, but I wanted you to see like how thick this is for a toner. It is quite thick and it does have the snail mucin, um, what I would imagine that all, ugh, I'm not going to be able to show. It's not going to show, but if you could see, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but it, it's quite thick. It's not a runny toner formula. It is kind of, it's not a gel. It lives somewhere in the middle of there, honestly. Um, but I've really liked it a lot. I'm really excited about trying the Corsic Snell Music Mucin Essence. Gosh, it's a lot to say. Um, so I'm gonna try that because I think I prefer an essence rather than a toner because rather than really rubbing in and putting stuff on top of, I kind of like to use a toner and then have this as a finishing. Um, but I like the I like the product and honestly, I do think it helped my skin quite a lot. I'm not going to say it revolutionized it because it's too hard to tell with just one bottle, but I am lacking what I'm seeing so far. All right, next we have the Bio Essence Squalene Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. I really liked this a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, as far as sunscreens go, uh, I would consider purchasing a full size of this. So it's SPF 30, it's broad spectrum. Um, it is a zinc oxide sunscreen, so it's a mineral SPF. I really liked it a lot. I didn't notice any white cast. I noticed that it blended in. It didn't seem to peel on me. Um, so my favorites so far have been the Clinique, this one, the K-Skin, which I, I don't know if that's available or not. There's something weird going on with that. Um, and yeah, so of those three, like I really like those and I would, you know, I think I would pick one based on price. Um, because all three of those worked for me. So I do want to try the good molecules. That's on my list to try, uh, but I have no complaints with that one. I feel like I'm rushing, but it's because I kind of have so much to do. So I do have to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, all right. So the next one, uh, is the Copri, what is this called? California Glow Enzyme Scrub. So when I purchased this off Sephora, it was available. I don't think it's available now. And it had these amazing reviews. And I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, I hated this product. So it comes with a little wand and you can see in the lid, hopefully like that scrubby action. I ended up finishing it by using it on my legs pre-shave just to exfoliate my legs. I did not like this. And the thing that I didn't like about it as an exfoliator, I thought it was really good. It did do what it was meant to, which is exfoliate but it left this film on my skin. So I had to clean that off and to then post cleanse. So I had to exfoliate with this, the scrub, and then cleanse again. And it felt like it was drying up my skin a lot, but I just, I didn't live for this. It was the film. I just couldn't get the film off unless I did a post cleanse. So if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But yeah, that wasn't my favorite exfoliator. And finally, the last product I'm going to talk about are these Danessa Myricks Color Fix Mattes. I have one in chocolate and one in desert rose. These came in my trend mood box. Um, okay, so these are full. I barely use them. I think actually I only use the chocolate like once or twice as an eyeshadow base. I have used the Dusty Rose a couple times as a blush. That's it. Um, I'm actually sending these to another YouTuber. So I think she will get more use out of them because I think she enjoys this formula more than I do. Here's what I'll say. 
They're matte. They're full coverage. The color payoff in the pigment is next level, but I just really struggle working with them because they dry. My skin is so dry right now, guys. It is so dry in the wintertime. I just keep the heat cranked up. I freeze to death and my skin is dry. And what I found is that these color mattes, they set so quickly and they dry so quickly. I don't have time to blend them out. And as you can see, like I am very fair skinned, so I can't not blend something out properly because you will see it. You will notice right away if something's not blended properly on my pasty white skin. So I just didn't, I didn't love those. And I'm so glad that I can pass those on to her because I, I do think she'll enjoy them. As an eyeshadow base, they're amazing. They're really, really good. I just didn't love the experience of working with them. I am not a cream liquid eyeshadow gal. I've tried several. The Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize is probably my favorite of the cream and I keep it and I use it as a base when I travel. Um, but overall, creams and liquids on the eyes just are not for me. I'm not loving that. Love cream and liquid products on my face right now, but not the eyes. So that's the reason I'm passing those on and they're still full, but I did want to give you guys my review. All right, guys, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think if you've tried any of these. I went over even though I was rushing like crazy, so who knows what's going on. All right, guys, hope everybody's doing great, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!